It's a good chance to pray. Uh, I come out in the morning uh, after our morning prayers, and then I come out here to the quiet, to the silence, and I get to reflect on the, the readings that we've just discussed in our, in our prayer time. I get to take that word, that, uh, that word of God, and meditate upon it while I, while I pick. Father Simeon Spitz, a Benedictine monk at St. Gregory's Abbey, has been busy picking blackberries growing on the Abbey's grounds. There are thorns aplenty in the patch, and <laughs> going after the one choice berry could result in a leg full of thorns or an arm full of thorns or all of the above all at once. Uh, so that happens regularly enough. And those are little chances to give God thanks to. <laughs> I know I deserve much worse than this, <laughs> so I thank you for so little. <laughs> Spitz says the solitude of berry picking allows him to pray and recall the wonder of God's cycle of seasons. And the berries have another benefit. I say idle hands are the devil's workshop, so this is a chance to, uh, to keep the hands busy, uh, to have a little time in uh, reflection and manual labor, which is conducive to prayer. And the added benefit, of course, is that we have a little something to munch on and a little something to sell. So uh, we're not angels, we have to eat as well. The monk makes his famous honey berry jam from the harvested blackberries. The goal is to pick the berries when they're ready to be picked, not earlier and not later. Uh, later they're a little too soft and earlier they're not quite as sweet. Uh, I pick every day uh, and I pick in the morning. And the idea is to pick just the blackberries, the ones that are nice and juicy and, and plump and ready to go. The recipe includes a generous helping of honey harvested from beehives on the Abbey's grounds. The jam is being sold in the Maybe Guerra Museum on the grounds of St. Gregory's University. I usually spend uh, two to three hours in the morning uh, picking the berries and then another hour in the afternoon getting all of the jars washed and prepped and ready and, and sterilized and ready for usage. And then the actual cooking process lasts about another three hours in the evening. So all total there's about seven hours a day in making, the, in making the jam each day. The goal isn't to get a job done or uh, to pick more berries or, or, or crank out another batch of jam. The goal is to live the life of prayer. And the berries and the jam are just a way of supporting that life of prayer.